RBT in action, targeting default mode network overactivation in borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder, BPD, is often a severe mental health condition characterized by a pervasive pattern of instability in interpersonal relationships, self-image, effect, and impulsivity. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, DSM-5, defines personality disorders as enduring patterns of inner experience and behavior that significantly deviate from cultural expectations and lead to distress or impairment in functioning. Among these disorders, BPD presents unique challenges due to its multifaceted nature and the complexity of its symptoms. The DSM-5 categorizes personality disorders as enduring patterns of inner experience and behavior that deviate markedly from cultural norms, leading to distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. These patterns are inflexible and pervasive, manifesting across a range of personal and social situations. The DSM-5 identifies 10 specific personality disorders, including BPD, each with its own distinct diagnostic criteria and symptomatology. The DSM-5 outlines nine diagnostic criteria for BPD, of which an individual must meet at least five for a formal diagnosis. These criteria include 1. Frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment. 2. A pattern of unstable and intense interpersonal relationships characterized by alternating between extremes of idealization and devaluation. 3. Identity disturbance, markedly and persistently unstable self-image or sense of self. 4. Impulsivity in at least two areas that are potentially self-damaging, e.g., spending, sex, substance abuse, reckless driving, binge eating. 5. Recurrent suicidal behavior, gestures, or threats, or self-mutilating behavior. 6. Effective instability due to marked reactivity of mood, for example, intense episodic dysphoria, irritability, or anxiety usually lasting a few hours and rarely more than a few days. 7. Chronic feelings of emptiness. 8. Inappropriate, intense anger, or difficulty controlling anger, for example, frequent displays of temper, constant anger, recurrent physical fights. 9. Transient, stress-related paranoid ideation or severe dissociative symptoms. The default mode network, DMN, is a network of brain regions that are active when an individual is at rest and not engaged in specific tasks. It is implicated in self-referential thoughts, mind-wandering, and autobiographical memory. Dysfunction in the DMN has been associated with various psychiatric disorders, including BPD. In individuals with BPD, there is evidence of aberrant DMN connectivity and overactivation, contributing to the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral symptoms characteristic of the disorder. Let's consider some of the cognitive symptoms. Overactivation of the DMN may lead to rumination, excessive self-focus, and distorted perceptions of self and others. Individuals with BPD may experience recurrent negative thoughts about themselves, leading to identity disturbance and chronic feelings of emptiness. Recent neuroimaging studies have provided compelling evidence supporting the role of the DMN in the cognitive symptoms of BPD. For instance, a study by Schulz et al. 2020 employed functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, to investigate DMN connectivity in individuals with BPD. The results revealed increased functional connectivity within the DMN, particularly in regions associated with self-referential processing, such as the medial prefrontal cortex and posterior cingulate cortex. This heightened connectivity was positively correlated with self-reported measures of rumination and negative self-perceptions in individuals with BPD suggesting a link between DMN dysfunction and cognitive symptoms of the disorder. The emotional symptoms include the following. Dysregulation of the DMN may contribute to effective instability and intense mood swings seen in BPD. Heightened DMN activity during emotional processing may exacerbate emotional reactivity and difficulties in emotion regulation. In addition to cognitive symptoms, 
aberrant DMN function has also been implicated in the emotional symptoms of BPD. A study by Schmidt et al., 2016, utilized resting state fMRI to examine DMN connectivity in individuals with BPD during an emotional regulation task. The findings revealed increased DMN connectivity during the regulation of negative emotions, particularly in regions associated with emotional processing and self-referential thought. Furthermore, greater DMN connectivity was associated with greater difficulties in emotion regulation and increased severity of BPD symptoms. Highlighting the role of DMN dysfunction in emotional dysregulation characteristic of the disorder. Finally, let's consider the behavioral symptoms. The DMN plays a role in decision-making processes and impulse control. Dysfunction in the DMN may underlie impulsive behaviors such as substance abuse, reckless driving, and self-harming behaviors commonly observed in individuals with BPD. Research examining the relationship between DMN function and behavioral symptoms in BPD is still emerging but holds promise for understanding the underlying mechanisms of impulsivity and behavioral dysregulation. For example, a study by Salaf et al., 2017, investigated DMN connectivity in individuals with BPD using resting state fMRI and behavioral assessments of impulsivity. The results revealed disrupted connectivity within the DMN, particularly in regions involved in self-referential processing and executive control. Furthermore, decreased DMN connectivity was associated with increased impulsivity and severity of BPD symptoms, suggesting a potential link between DMN dysfunction and behavioral symptoms in the disorder. Let's consider a brief case of an individual with BPD. Consider an individual with BPD who experiences chronic feelings of emptiness and unstable self-image. During periods of rest, the DMN in this individual may exhibit heightened activity, leading to rumination about perceived inadequacies and difficulties in maintaining a stable sense of self. Overactivation of the DMN may contribute to recurrent negative thoughts and intense emotional experiences, perpetuating a cycle of distress and dysregulation. These findings highlight the critical role of the DMN in underpinning the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral symptoms of BPD. Dysregulation of the DMN appears to contribute to various facets of the disorder, including identity disturbance, affective instability, and impulsivity. Understanding these neural mechanisms is essential for developing targeted interventions aimed at modulating DMN function and alleviating symptoms in individuals with BPD. Now let's consider the treatment of BPD with RBT, the first theory to be developed among the second and third wave behavior psychotherapy models. Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, RBT, is a form of cognitive behavioral therapy that focuses on identifying, challenging, and replacing irrational beliefs to promote adaptive coping strategies and emotional well-being. RBD interventions can be tailored to address the specific cognitive and emotional vulnerabilities associated with BPD, while also targeting the overactivation of the DMN and threat-based autobiographical memory. Some of the more common relevant RBD interventions are Cognitive restructuring RBD helps individuals identify and challenge maladaptive beliefs about themselves and their interactions with others. Techniques such as disputing irrational thoughts and reframing negative self-perceptions can help reduce rumination and promote a more balanced self-view. Behavioral activation. Engaging in purposeful and goal-directed activities can disrupt patterns of rumination and reduce DMN overactivation. Encouraging individuals with BPD to pursue meaningful hobbies or interests can foster a sense of fulfillment and purpose. Mindfulness with movement. Integrating mindfulness practices with physical exercise can promote present moment awareness while also addressing physiological arousal associated with emotional dysregulation. Activities such as yoga, tai chi, or walking meditation can help individuals with BPD regulate their emotions and reduce DMN hyperactivity. Integrating evolutionary-based interventions with RBD to treat BPD. 
In addition to our BT techniques, interventions rooted in evolutionary psychology can complement treatment for BPD by addressing underlying mechanisms of threat detection and survival. Evolutionary-based interventions focus on enhancing adaptive responses to stressors and promoting resilience in the face of adversity. Let's consider three specific evolutionary-based interventions. Safety and security building. Creating a supportive and validating therapeutic environment can help individuals with BPD feel safe and secure, reducing hypervigilance to perceived threats and mitigating DMN overactivation. Social connection. Cultivating meaningful social connections and fostering a sense of belonging can activate neural circuits associated with reward and affiliation. Counteracting the social isolation and interpersonal difficulties common in BPD. Emotional regulation skills. Teaching emotion regulation strategies grounded in evolutionary principles, such as reappraisal and effect labeling can help individuals modulate emotional responses and regulate physiological arousal associated with threat detection. Borderline personality disorder presents significant challenges due to its complex interplay of cognitive, emotional, and behavioral symptoms. Understanding the role of the default mode network in underpinning these symptoms provides valuable insights into potential treatment targets. Integrating rational emotive behavior therapy with evolutionary-based interventions offers a comprehensive approach to addressing DMN.